Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see behind me, we are just in the field with the breeding tubs. They've been in here for about 11 months now, just chilling with not a lot to do. But today is the day where they stop that chilling as they're going back in with the ewes. We've got a couple of things to sort just before they go in. So we'll go and do that. I hope you enjoyed today's video guys because it's gonna be an exciting one. If you do, give it a like, give it a subscribe and I hope you enjoy. So we've just left the tubs for a minute guys, so we've got to get one thing sorted before we actually get them in. And that is the tupping harnesses. So as you can see here, these are what you actually put onto the tubs when they go out with the use. And as you can see, also we have different colours. So what these signify is each individual tub. For example, with the Irish tub, we put a green rattle on. And as you saw in the video before this, we mark all the use with green. This harness goes on the tub when he actually tups the ewes, he marks them. So it's a really good way of management to see who's actually been tupped, how the tups are performing, as well as actually knowing who's been tupped by who. But we do have records of that on the EID scanner and by marking the ewes. It's just all a backup, really, to make sure we don't make any mistakes when we're entering pedigrees next year. Right, so these are fairly simple to do. They come in a plastic covering just like that. Do that across the top too. Pops out like that then you're ready to put it in the harness. Now we have the rattle, if by magic, Blue Peter style, and simply the rattle just goes into the slot there, and it's here's front and back, so if you don't know which way um, harness goes, you know by that. And this literally just slides in, and because it's tapered, it fits pretty well. The pin, then you match it with the holes in the side again, through there, and then you just fold the metal over that side, and it's done. Right, so that's those done. Now, let's go get the tops. Well, that is all of them all in. That wasn't too much of a bad job. Goliath was a bit of pain, but he came in after he ran around the building again, so that wasn't too bad. Now, to get the harnesses on. You've been waiting patiently. Good job done. I should say Ellie's done a good job there because I was literally just holding them. Ellie was doing the harnesses, but four of those have harnesses. As you see, the Rusan doesn't have a harness, if you see just there. That is because he's going to go in with the ewe lambs in a couple of weeks' time. We don't top them at the same time. We do a little bit of an overlap, but we don't want to be going mad with loads of sheep at once when we struggle for shed space. And then the Abba Black is just in this stable because they haven't been mixed up at all so he's all ready to go to aren't you mate so some of you might not have seen him too much but really excited to see how he performs on the beef lock as well all loaded and ready to go
Righto, so that is the Abba Black all dropped off with the b -fock. Now we are on to the pedigree top, so we've got four to drop off. And then we've got another group, if you watched the video before this, that currently hasn't got a top, but yeah, we'll leave it like that. First of all, we've got Goliath. He's in one separate place and the other three are in a different place to that again. Straight over to check him out. So Goliath in here has got 20 U's to go at and that should be fairly easy for him. For any of you that didn't watch the video before this one, we're pulling the U's out. The reason he's only got 20 is because his semen mobility, so the sperm, how good they are, was a lot lower than the rest. So we've only given him 20 and the rest have had 40. So if you're wondering why that is, that is that. So now off to the next group. So now we are at field number three and we have an interesting conundrum because all the tops, the tops, are on the top deck. So we're gonna have to be very careful not letting them all out into one field. The first field we are at, all the U's on the shoulders have a green spot as you should be able to see with this U here. I think you should be able to see that. So that can only mean one thing, the Irish top needs to come out. So me and Ellie, I'm gonna have to get him out, fingers crossed, we don't end up with three tops out the trailer because that would be an utter disaster. Right, he's near the front. Right Al, what we need is a quick release and a quick close. Come on. Shut it, shut it, shut it. Hello. We're out. Close it, close it. Close. Oh, you Woohoo! That worked. That was a close call. All right, fella, you're the last one to go out. Well, this one should be slightly easier because all we have to do is let him out. There's no other tops that can get in here. You ready, buddy? You ready? You're the one that's been waiting the longest. 11 months of boredom, and you know what's happening, don't you, mate? You know, you know. No light here, no light here. I think all these will put the lights on for you, mate. Let the sausage see the roll. Let the hose see the pipe. These are just awful. Let the top see the use. Yeah, that would be Single man, reveal yourself. Go on, fella. Now's the time. He knows, off he goes. Ladies! Right guys, so that is all five of the tops dropped off. The Abba Black and four of the Pedigree use, and they definitely know what they're doing by the looks. So all the ladies have surrounded them all, and certainly he, who I'm watching here, is pretty ready to get going. But fingers crossed, five months time from now, we have lambs on the floor. These are gonna do a cracking job. We have had the teasers in for a couple of weeks, so it should be fairly tight, fingers crossed. And if you've watched the video before this, you'll see how we actually split the, how we actually split these groups up if you're interested, because there are certain genetics which have gone to certain tops. And it's actually a group without a top in. So stay tuned to the channel because in the future you might see exactly why that is. Massive thank you for watching, guys. If you did enjoy it, please tap that like button. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. And once again, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.